could be in a world where there are literally billions of robots. There's a new race between the world's superpowers. Robots. The US and China are now racing to develop the most advanced humanoid. AI might have been stealing the spotlight, but the battle for robot supremacy has been heating up for longer, and it's about to reach boiling point. The chat GPT moment for general robotics is just around the corner. The stakes are huge. Whichever country cracks humanoid robots will have an army of tireless workers. It could unlock huge economic growth and hard power. So who will win the robot race? China's taking robotics very seriously. And should the West be worried? We would have politicians saying these robots would turn on us. All right, guys, this is the most advanced robot in China. April 5th, 2025. Darren Watkins Jr., better known as I Show Speed, uploads this video to YouTube. It quickly notches up 30 million views, showing Americans just how advanced China's robots are. Robots like this might be a novelty, but the technology behind them is trying to solve a very real problem. In both America and China, workforces are aging and shrinking. There's a clear need for robots to pick up the slack. But it can also help at the other end of the scale when it comes to looking after older people the idea that robots can help in care homes has a total logic to it. Demand for robots is rising, and increasingly, supply is no longer just a pipe dream. Advances in AI and mechanical engineering mean it's now possible to create humanoid robots that are, whisper it, good. These kind of robots have been the stuff of science fiction dreams for decades. We've seen now tremendous advances, but we're still waiting for the killer app. It set the stage for an epic race. For years, the US was the undisputed global leader in robotics technology. Now, some of the biggest names in tech see a change coming. With respect to humanoid robots, I don't think there's any company in any country that can match Tesla. I, I'm a little concerned that an, on the leaderboard, ranks two through 10 will be Chinese company. Elon's worries are understandable. A few years ago, his company, Tesla, made America the world leader in electric vehicles. Then China started supporting its own EV industry. In the beginning, you had the top-down goals for adoption. As EVs advanced, uh, the government made much more specific rules. They gave consumers subsidies for purchasing these EVs. And then ultimately the goal is to withdraw all public support. Everyone was given a couple years, but we're told very bluntly, hey, all these subsidies are going away. That actually resulted in a more robust ecosystem as companies um, have to now compete with each other much more directly without any you know, additional support. The government then allowed Tesla unprecedented access to its EV market to ensure only the strong survived. This strategy has a name. Uh, the catfish effect, when you ship sardines, uh, many of them tend to die because they just sit in the water and don't move and just atrophy. But if you introduce a predator, a catfish, into the tank while they're being shipped, they're swimming about trying to avoid getting eaten and that actually keeps them very healthy. The plan worked. Prices tumbled and quality soared. Now China leads the world in electric vehicles. It looks like the Communist Party is hoping to repeat the same trick with robots. In 2020, the Chinese government made robotics one of its national priorities. I see this really as the continuation of China's long-term technological development strategy. It's not just state capitalism that's speeding things up. China's more practical approach to robot development could also give it an edge. Historically, the U.S. has approached it from an invention uh, down to innovation, down to diffusion. The Chinese approach tends to be very pragmatic, um, seeing a market opportunity, seeing a particular problem. This pragmatism means more Chinese robots are being put to work right now. China may be moving fast without breaking things, but that isn't the only advantage it has in the robot race. 
a Chinese robotic manufacturer or startup does not have to go abroad to source its motors or parts. It can essentially go across the road or across the province. China benefits from established and integrated supply chains. It also has strength in numbers, giving it a scale in manufacturing the US can't match. It may sound like a recipe for victory, but it's far too soon to count Uncle Sam out. So I gave you the apple because it's the only uh, edible item I could provide you with. China might have the edge in manufacturing, but America's tech giants are ahead in AI, developing robot brains to China's brawn. In terms of the cutting edge of AI research, the US is still leading. Whether or not China, you know, quote unquote, catches up, it's a little difficult to say. China's breathing down America's neck. In 2024, China published as much AI research as the US, UK and the European Union combined. It may be catching up fast in algorithms, but when it comes to another ingredient of AI, America has jealously guarded its lead. The primary manufacturer of AI, advanced AI chips, is NVIDIA, which is an American company. And they have faced a lot of legal restrictions on providing the, the highest end chips to China. For a while, this chip gap hobbled China in its race to produce better AI. Then, in January 2025, China shocked the world. Earth-shattering developments in the AI space. DeepSeek, a Chinese startup, released an AI chatbot nearly as good as American models, without using cutting-edge chips. Since then, more have followed. Suddenly, America's lead looks a lot smaller. The chips. That's historically been where China's weak, but that's also changing. Don't discount America yet. It might be losing ground at the moment, but the country's culture of innovation is still a strength. Where is the next big breakthrough? And I think there are definitely arguments uh, for the US. Although China's full of innovation too. I would say China also makes a very strong case for being ground zero for the killer app. 50% of the top global AI talent is in China. Increasingly, it looks like the race is China's to lose. For both countries, this is about more than just economics. If China wins, and robots are adopted as widely as some predict, then a lot of consumers will be reliant on Chinese tech. Once China does become dominant in a certain sector, we fully expect there to be these fears raised about that particular technology. I would expect if China becomes as dominant as humanoid robots, that we would have politicians saying these robots would turn on us if Beijing wanted that. But national security aside, not everyone sees this as a competition. If that is the case, it could be good news for everyone. China does want to be a global leader in these cutting-edge technologies, but its worldview is not based on the zero-sum, winner-takes-all kind of mentality, but it really sees the world as interconnected. They're all part of one whole and must function together. And it's because of this view that I'm optimistic that China and the United States can actually work together to implement these technologies in a way that benefits everyone.